if you have IP cameras and you don't have this app, you're missing out totally. This app is meant for IP cameras and it's the best app out there on the market. I can vouch for that and you're going to see it in the uh, video review ahead. So stay tuned. Hello guys, this is the app you want, IP Cam Viewer Pro uh, by Robert Chow. If you have IP cameras in your house or if you're looking about uh, monitoring your house with cameras for security around or inside of your house, uh, I advise you to look at some of my other videos uh, as far as picking out the cameras that you need or, or you should use and I do always suggest IP cameras because you can view them from anywhere around the world and this app on your Android phone or your tablets uh, will give you access to your cameras anywhere around the world and it's called the IP cam viewer and if you scroll through here if you look right here it's got thousands of downloads hundreds of thousands of downloads and it's got very good reviews uh, 4.5 stars out of 5 uh, I don't know how anybody could not give this guy 5 stars for this app uh, as you can see here I mean it's got great reviews you can even download his free version the IP cam viewer Lite or IP cam viewer basic I believe that gives you like uh, certain uh, uh, camera abilities and I think it only allows you to view four cameras at a time in my house I've got like uh, over 10 cameras around my house and the property so but this is the app to get and uh, take you back up here these similar apps don't match up trust me they do not match up to the uh, professionalism that this app has and uh, I'm gonna go back up here go ahead and open this and give you a view of this and these are my cameras right here and as we dive into this little uh, video here this camera app is totally awesome and is worth the purchase you'll be totally amazed with this app I guarantee it if you have IP cameras and you don't have this app then you're missing out so stay tuned for the review next alright guys uh, welcome back today uh, welcome to my channel make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this video what I want to show you here today is the uh, IP cam viewer app and this is the app that I use for all of my cameras around my house and on actually another property as well you can funnel in other uh, IP cameras from anywhere around the world into this uh, software so I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you back here and this app is this one at the top here, IP Cam Viewer at the top left in my folder and if I click on that it opens up the cameras that I have already uh, set in my settings and as they turn green they will highlight green within this app and I also, I like to turn my phone or tablet landscape mode and these are all loading up this one here I notice takes us a little it takes a little bit more time and now we've got them all loaded up and uh, this is my front gate here let's just double click on this one right here the driveway if you double click on it it will open up into full screen mode and if you hit this arrow over here to the left click on that one time uh, you have your pan and tilt your zoom we can zoom on here a couple times you can zoom right up and then go back unzoom that we also have the pan and tilt feature left that's my neighbor's house over there this is my driveway right here and my garage is right in this area here 
and you also have these preset modes uh, and you can preset uh, up to five preset modes here. If I click the one that goes down to the front of the garage there. I click two. I believe that goes over to my neighbor's house, their garage. And three, I believe, goes to the gate. And four will go to my front driveway. And five, I'm not sure if I had that set. Yeah, five I don't have set because my house corner is right here, so I can't go over much more. So there's a lot of great features uh, for your cameras for viewing. If you're away anywhere in the world, you can view these cameras. Just pull out your smartphone or your tablet. It's an Android app. And uh, you can buy a free version, but the free version, I believe, only supports about four cameras. But if you buy the full version, I believe it's like $5 or something like that. It's a very useful tool and well worth the money. If I wanted to, uh, say, take a snapshot, quickly, I have this camera icon right here. If I click that, and it's going to ask me, all right, single snapshot, where do I want to uh record that to. I'll go ahead and do OK there. And the image was saved. So if I saw somebody walking up to my gate or something or trying to uh, push the gate open, uh, I can quickly, uh, while I'm viewing this and seeing it happen, I can quickly shoot a snapshot so that I can go back later and, you know, and, you know maybe show the authorities, the police or something like that. You can also open the speaker and you can listen. These are outdoors, so I don't get a lot of sound on them. Uh, you can also open the mic, and I can talk through it. And if I was out here or somebody was out here in the driveway when I'm talking right now, uh, they could hear me talking. So that's a good feature, too. It's all built into this app. All right, and this app has another cool feature I'm going to show you now. And that is if you click on it, this down arrow right here when you're seeing all of your views of your cameras that you have. Maybe you might not have like 10 to 15 cameras like I have. You might have four or six. That's okay. Uh, that's fine. This app is good for every application, however uh, big you need it. I think it can support many, many cameras. I'm not sure how many, uh, but it's supported as many as I've needed so far. So if I click this down arrow here and click this first icon right here, it opens up. And this is a really cool feature. As soon as your cameras get loaded here, you see that circle rotating there. It's trying to get a live view established. And you'll know you have live view when your title up here for your camera turns green. And uh, this one's taking a little bit long. But what I wanted to show you here is the all your cameras, you can scroll through them at the bottom here. Scroll through them. You can click uh, stop on whatever one you want. This is my back porch area. Notice we've got that green title and the time is uh, current. And uh, so I can scroll over. And then we're waiting for the... Uh, pull camera to load. This is my pull area. I can click on pan and tilt. And that's my pull right there. It's nighttime, so can't really get a good view. That's the in-law suite. That's where my dad's living right now. And uh, so we keep a close eye on him. And if you click on that screen, you can go to uh, back to your multicam view. And then if you click on down arrow, go here to the scrollable view again. And you can scroll through. Here's a live view of the garage. I click on that. And I can uh, look around the garage. Check on my Corvette. And the Massimo UTV. And our motorcycles there. And it's in night vision mode right now, so you have to wait for the IR 
uh, lights to focus and stuff like that. And what else do we have? We got the front door, the back side yard. Uh, let's see. That's the uh, right here. That's that's the balcony at the pool. You can see the pool down here. So we got a little balcony coming off of one of the bedrooms upstairs. And here's our living room kitchen area. So, uh, oh, I'll show you where I'm at right now. This is me. Hi. Welcome to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, like on this video if you like it. If you like what I'm showing you with this IP cam viewer. All right, so let's see what else do we have. Uh, this is the property, uh, my rental property, at the front driveway, and this is the rental property in the backyard. So, like I told you. It doesn't have to be on site within your router or whatever. As long as you know the IP address for your IP cameras, you can plug them right into this app. And I've got presets for these two. And you can function them the exact same way as the ones that are right on your property uh, going right through your router. So if you have an IP camera, I recommend IP cameras and not those, uh, you know, built-in DVRs with, uh, you know, the wired cameras that you buy at Best Buy or Home Depot and stuff like that. Get yourself an IP camera, monitor it on your computer. Uh, I suggest Blue Iris software uh, to do the monitoring, recording of motion and stuff like that. And then get this app on your Android phone. I believe it's available for uh, iOS as well. It's the best app out there. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about it and then we'll uh, end this video. But uh, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's, it's a cool app. I use it probably, I don't know, on a daily basis. I probably log into this app on my phone just to check on my house. See, you know, especially because I got my dad uh, living there in the in law suite. I, I check on him every once in a while and stuff like that. Just and I've got three golden retrievers around the house that we leave when we're at work. So I always like to check on them and see how they're doing and make sure they're not getting into any trouble. So uh, I mean, I, I probably log into this app probably uh, I don't know average five to ten times a day. It's very very useful and. I'm sure you'll find it useful as well. Okay, the last feature I'd like to show you is uh, how to share your camera settings. Say you got another phone or you purchased a new tablet or you want your family member to have access to some of your cameras but maybe you don't want to have give them access to like your inside cameras like the office, you know, my lake room, uh, my living room. I just want to give them access to the say the driveway or something and the front door or something like that. So how you do that, click on the screen and click this little envelope up here and click manage cameras and right here you can select the cameras driveway like I sh uh, like I told you driveway and front door and say I'm gonna uncheck the garage the doggy yard, uncheck all these. I can give them access to the pool area. I'm just going to give them access to the outside of the house. So I'm going to uncheck all these. And if you click this, this is a share icon right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'm going to email selected cameras. So it's going to email only the selected cameras that I have checkmarked. <clears throat> when you click that email selected cameras, you can send it to them through Facebook, Gmail, a message or messenger, you know, anything like that. 
uh, say if I did Gmail. Okay. <clears throat> and now it will send me that attachment or send that person that attachment. Here's the attachment right here. So you'll have to tell them install the IPCAM viewer app on Android and then when they get this email if they click on this app right here it's going to auto populate uh, that IPCAM viewer app so they don't have to plug in any of the specifics it just automatically gives those cameras to them and it's a really cool feature especially if you're adding on or you changed phones or you uh, bought a new tablet or a new phone whatever the case may be you just send this to yourself maybe and then you uh, download the IPCAM viewer app and then click on this and it's gonna automatically populate it and give you the cameras <laughs>